Now for number two, it's another rational expression, but this time we have a real part, an imaginary part, which is a complex number in our numerator divided by the imaginary number 5i. So just like what we did in number one, we are just multiplying the numerator and the denominator by i to eliminate i in your denominator. So when we distribute i to 3i, 2 times i is 2i, and 2 or 3 times i is 3i squared. And if we distribute i to 5i, it's simply 5i squared. So we have 2i plus 3i squared all over 5i squared. And the next step is to get rid of all the i squares. We have an i square in our numer numerator and an i square in your denominator. So we'll change it into negative 1. And to further simplify our expression, we have 2i minus 3 all over negative 5 from multiplying 3 and negative 1 and 5 times negative 1. Now, this rational expression is not in standard form yet because we know that the standard form of a complex number is real part and then imaginary part. So you need to switch this two before you can have your final answer. And that's what I did. So from 2i minus 3, now I have negative 3 plus 2i all over negative 5. On example number three, my denominator is not just an imaginary number. Now my denominator is a complex number with a real part and imaginary part. So we are still rationalizing the rational expression. And for number three, the step will be a little bit different. We can no longer just multiply the top and the bottom by i. We need to use the conjugate. So that's why we need to learn what conjugates are because it will help us rationalize complex number like this. So the denominator is 2 minus 5i and we always multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of your denominator. And the conjugate of 2 minus 5i is 2 plus 5i. And that's what we did on the second line right here. We multiply the top part and the bottom part of the fraction by 2 plus 5i and 2 plus 5i. And by doing that, we are simply distributing 3 to 2 plus 5i, and we multiply 2 minus 5i times 2 plus 5i. Now, for the numerator, distributing it will be easy because 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 5i is just 15i. In our denominator, we will use the shortcut method that we learned um, a few slides ago. So we can just multiply 2 times 2, which is 4, and negative 5i times positive 5i, which is negative 25i squared. Now, once again, it only works for multiplying complex number by its conjugate. So we copy the numerator. We have 6 plus 15i all over 4 minus 25 times negative 1. And 25 times negative 1 is positive 25. So now we can add the real part because we have just eliminated the imaginary part in our complex number. So we have 6 plus 15i. We're just copying it because we don't need to simplify or change it into standard form. But we can combine 4 and 25, which gives us 29. And this will be our rationalized rational expression for example number 3. There's no more imaginary number in your denominator. So these are the steps when we have a fraction that looks like this. And for example number four, the difference between this example or this rational expression is that our numerator has a complete set of a complex number and also the denominator. So which conjugate are we using? Are we using the conjugate of the top or the conjugate of the bottom? which is the numerator or the denominator. So following step or the steps that we did on example number three, we, else, we are still using the conjugate of the denominator. So we are not using the conjugate of the numerator, but the conjugate of the denominator. So the conjugate of four minus three i is four plus three i, and that's what we're multiplying it with our entire fraction. Now, the difference between example number four and example number three is the numerator needs to be foiled and the denominator, you can use your shortcut because it's just conjugate. So don't make a mistake of multiplying five times four and two i times three i because you're not gonna get the correct answer. 
Once again, the shortcut method that we learned a few slides ago is just going to work for the denominator because you're multiplying the complex number by the conjugate. So let's simplify. So 5 minus 2i times 4 plus 3i is 5 times 4, which is 20. 5 times 3i, which is 15i. Negative 2i times 4, which is negative 8i. And negative 2i times 3i is negative 6i squared. So we foiled the numerator and the denominator will use the shortcut because it's just the conjugates. So 4 times 4 is 16 and negative 3i times positive 3i is negative 9i squared. Now simplifying our numerator by combining like terms, I can combine 15i minus 8i which gives me positive 7i and I can change i squared into negative 1. And negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6. And the i squared at my denominator will be changed to negative 1 as well. So by further simplifying it, I have 20 plus 7i plus 6 all over 16 plus 9. So by combining like terms, I can combine 20 and 6, which gives me 26. And I can combine 16 and 9, which gives me 25. So my final answer in rationalizing 5 minus 2i all over 4 minus 3i is 26 plus 7i all over 25.